Introduction Human beings, animal and plants depend on oxygen to survive. While some animals resemble human beings in their techniques of respiration, some others have completely different respiratory mechanisms. Plants also have a unique way of breathing. In this lesson, we will study respiration in plants and animals in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand how gases are exchanged in insects, explain how earthworms breathe, describe the different ways in which frogs respire, explain how fish breathe in water, explain the breathing process in plants. Like human beings, insects need oxygen for survival as well. Again, like human beings, they produce carbon dioxide as a waste product. But unlike human beings, insects like grasshopper, housefly, cockroaches, etc. do not have lungs. The process by which gas exchange takes place in insects is known as diffusion. Air enters the insect body through tiny holes present on the sides of the body. These holes are known as spiracles. The spiracles open into a network of thin air tubes spread over the body of an insect. These tubes are known as the trachea and they facilitate gas exchange. Oxygen reaches the cells through the tracheal system and the carbon dioxide is received from the cells by the tracheal system and expelled from the insect body through spiracles. Earthworms like insects do not have lungs, nor do they have a nose. They breathe through their skin. They absorb oxygen from air and soil. When the oxygen comes in contact with their moist skin, it breaks down, it is absorbed through tiny blood vessels and circulated throughout the body. The same blood vessels carry the carbon dioxide to be expelled through the skin. For an effective absorption of oxygen, earthworms keep their skin moist. Frogs, like human beings, have lungs. They use their lungs for breathing. But since their lungs are not well developed, they use two other types of respiration. One is buccal respiration and the other is cutaneous respiration. In buccal respiration, oxygen is absorbed and the blood vessels that line the roof of their mouth expel carbon dioxide. During this process, the passage to the lungs remains closed. In cutaneous respiration, oxygen is absorbed by the network of blood vessels on their skin. This respiration is effective only if their skin is moist. This technique of respiration is used by frogs on both land and water. Since fish is an aquatic animal, its respiratory system is different from the respiratory system of animals living on land. Fish has gills that allow it to breathe in water. So the fish is under no compulsion to come to the surface of the water for air. They take in oxygen-rich water through their mouth and pass it over the gills. The gills are lined with blood vessels which absorb the oxygen and release carbon dioxide into the water. The deoxygenated water is then expelled from the body through gills. In plants, respiration takes two different forms. One, when the pores of the plant absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. These pores are present all over the plant body and even in the roots. 2. When photosynthesis takes place. In this form of respiration, plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Summary 
Let us summarize what we have learned. In insects, air enters in their body through tiny holes called spiracles present on the sides of their body. Earthworm exchanges gas through its skin. Frogs have a pair of lungs like human beings for breathing. Their skin is moist and slippery. They can also breathe through their skin. They also breathe through their mouth. Fish have special organs for respiration called gills. Plant respiration takes two different forms. In one form, oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released. In the other form, carbon dioxide is absorbed and oxygen is released.